Hi everyone, welcome to official channel of Webosmotic Private Limited. I am Abhishek Kothari, a team leader at Webosmotic with 6 plus years of experience. I am here to share with you my knowledge. So let's learn together and grow. Let's get started. What's up Java fam? Today I am going to show you how to create an AI chatbot using Gemini in Java with the help of REST API. If your project is live on Google Cloud, then you can also use Maven dependencies which gives you a vertex packages which you can integrate. But I have used REST API because it's free and easy. So let's dive in and see it using Postman. I have created a simple Spring Boot application and run on my local host using 8080. So here it is. I will type a prompt. Hi, I am Abhishek. I am a team lead at Webosmotic. Now, if I send this, it's, like, it's nice to meet you. I would like to. What kind of work does your team do? We are a team of passionate developers worldwide. Product founders. Mm -hmm, that's great. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can you give me a small intro for myself? Okay, so here are a few options for you, Abhishek. So basically, it remembers my name from the first message and takes the context. So now let's see how to make this one. Okay, so we are on the dock of Google for the REST API. Here we see that we have to send an API and generative languages for Google APIs with the model name as well as the Google API key. This will be the format of the data in which Google wants our request. Our prompt will be coming over here in the text. So we will have to create this JSON in our Java code. Okay, so we, you would need a Google API key. You can make that using Google AI Studio. Let me go there. I have already opened the tab. Okay, here you come. We have to agree to some agreements. And then you can click on the create API key. If you already have a project, it will be shown over here. If you want to create a key for the specific project, if you don't have any, you can click over here, create an API key in new project. And this will generate an API key. So you will have to use this securely and you have to copy it. So let's go to the code and see how to use it. Okay, so I have came to IntelliJ IDEA. I have created a simple Spring Boot application with simple dependencies. Also added a JSON dependency to create JSON with simple controller and services. The main part over here, I have created the body of our prompt using this simple JSON array and objects to get the desired JSON. So this will create safety settings with harm, lock only high. Also I have adjust the temperature and top P using generate config. You can also configure another settings as per your requirements. Also, when we get the response from Gemini, I also created a method which will decode the response of Gemini and get the response text. So, we'll hit this chat method, we'll create header and create a prompt and then we hit it to the generative language API key, using API key and we send back the response. The one thing I have handed over here is to get the context of the last history, we have maintained one conversion history which you can later handle for specific user in the DB. 
So what this will do is, when you first give a prompt, as soon as you get the response, this will be stored with the response. So your query as well as your response will be stored over here. And the next time you come over here, you will be adding this history in the context. And then the prompt is sent such that you get the response with the previous context included. I have shared the code on the GitHub. You can find the link in below. Hope you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you found content valuable, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Looking forward for your feedback in the comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.